next one I've got here is uh, The Hitcher oh. with Rutger Hauer. Um, for a long, long time, this has never been available on Blu-ray. I mean, the only way you were getting to see this was DVD or video. Uh, and again, I had to get it from Germany. Um, uh, basically, the premise is uh, C. Thomas Howell is a, a guy he's on his way um, cross country I think he's on his way back to, back home from college and he stops one rainy night to uh, pick up a hitchhiker mm-hmm. he's been told many a time don't pick up hitchhikers he doesn't take the advice he picks up uh, this gentleman played by Rutger Hauer yeah. uh, is, whose name is John Ryder and he he wish he he pretty soon wishes he never picked him up because uh, this Rutger Hauer's character John Ryder starts to um, he starts to cause that he starts to kind of freak them out to begin with and then when he drops them off he Rutger Hauer just makes it kind of like this guy's life hell he's following him he starts stalking him and framing the young guy for his crimes so the police then think the college kid is the one committing all these yeah. vicious crimes. Uh, it's it's really really good. It's re- it's it's grim. There's some like crazy moments in it, uh, but it's a fantastic movie. I mean, if you've never seen it, it is really good. Rutger Hauer, <laughs> Rutger Hauer is very good in the role um, as John Ryder, and it also had uh, Jennifer Jason Lee in it, who uh, is a young girl that um, C. Thomas Howell meets. And um, she kind of gets swept up in the whole battle between him and John Ryder. Uh, but it's very good, very good movie. I highly recommend it. Um, if you're a fan of like, you know, the 80s thriller action movies, mm-hmm. uh, it's really, really good. 18 and over, I can see. Yeah. And the rating in IMDb is very high, 7.2. Yeah. By the way. It's really good. 1986 movie. Have you, have you seen it before? Yeah. I think I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. I think I've seen it. Probably a long time ago, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's it's an old one, yeah. Yeah. It was... Um, when you start saying that uh, he was hitchhiking, and I can see on the on the one of the posters, then, uh, yeah. It's really good. I mean, some of the stuff he does, yeah. and you just think... He's kind of like... He's almost like supernatural in yeah. terms of how he keeps turning up in places. Yeah. You know, just when this kid thinks he's gotten away from him, he turns up somewhere else. He's yeah. driving down the road and he sees this car go by and there's a family in the car and there's these two kids in the back of the car and they're waving to the college guy, uh, Jim Halsey. Yeah. And he he's waving back and then next to him is like a teddy bear and the teddy bear moves out of the way and it's Rutger Hauer sitting in the back of the car. <laughs> so he's obviously being picked yeah. up by someone else. And then later on you see that car pulled over and there's like blood in the car and stuff but, yeah. so and he just constantly shows up every time he thinks he's gotten away and so he he's everywhere yeah of. he's terrorizing this kid yeah. uh but it's really really yeah. good well worth watching beautiful beautiful very nice presentation beautiful there is a brochure inside oh yeah and it's got the original poster on the back there. yeah with some Shots. Yeah. Shots from the movie. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. That's the yeah, that's he's got the gun pointed at him under the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and these are the like cops after him thinking he's the one committing all these murders and terrorizing people. But he's trying to tell them that it's Rocker House character, that's the one. Uh, responsible. He, look, he looks mean here with the gun. Yeah. On the other page. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Shotgun, yeah. And young. I yeah. Remember. He's a good actor. It's but yeah, it's a good movie. I don't want to say too much yeah. about it because it's the the end and the last third of the movie is really good. It's it's a lot of twists and turns. Is it a lot uh, too bloody, like gory movie? Or? It's got a bit of blood in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say, it's not over, yeah. Well, I was saying that you are kind of there. You see a tie between the truck and the trailer. It's, uh, it's very good. 
I don't want to kind of uh, spoil it too much, yeah. but if you haven't seen it, yeah, um, I would really, really recommend that the Hitcher. Yeah. Yeah, some good screenshots there from the film. Beautiful. Yeah. In general. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's difficult to find uh, some uh, like kind of uh, yeah. I mean, horror, th- this old is horror movies in in the UK. Yeah. You need to order them from abroad. For whatever reason, this has never been available on Blu-ray in the UK. But soon after I got this edition, um, I found out that Second Sight uh, Films, who uh, recently released Dawn of the Dead and stuff like that. Uh, have got the rights to make uh, to release the Hitcher on Blu-ray, so I'll probably double dip and get that edition as well because it's that good of a film. Rarely I will double dip on movies, but this is one of the movies where I will take the plunge and I'll buy that as well. Yeah. Because I just like to have both editions then, because this is like the uncut version. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that. So to compare them from time to time. Yeah. Can see, if the, see if the transfer is different. Yeah. I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure that when Second Sight do release it, mm-hmm. it'll be in 4K. Yeah. I can almost be certain that they'll release two versions, 4K and just HD. Yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah. So I'll definitely get that. If it's 100% of it's in 4K, but it's a very good movie. Yeah. Really good, if, if you've never seen it. Uh, so yeah, that's The Hitcher.